When we see the uh, Nahate Kata um, and we get moves that begin like this, then you're, you're left wondering what you're blocking here and what you're attacking there. And that tends to be explained with you know, straight punches to your tummy and stuff. We'd rather look at it a slightly different way. So we've got to be in with some kind of real attack. Um, we'll deal with the big right hook as that is the most common attack in the world. So that's not necessarily me and the kata, that's just me not getting hit. But from there, if I'm dropping this down, then I'm following the rule of the kata. And if I'm cutting across here, then I'm following the rule of the kata. But now I'm taking a 45 degree line to execute the final position. So, just because the kata demonstrates this way, doesn't mean I'm always going to be nose to nose, face to face, doing it that way. Instead, taking the engagement situation and then taking a 45 degree line gives us a, a different opportunity. So, it's a simple application for the kata. It attacks vulnerable places, the back of his neck, and it gives us a, an in which makes a lot of sense, I think. So we're in here, and then we're dropping that down. And if you wanted, I could just step it back to, to illustrate why you might step back into the sandwich. That gives us that movement from uh, centre.